monetize your information and utilize your iPhone, Android, Microsoft Vault, or even access the HTML5 app that we have where you can earn digital credits and use those credits to buy gift cards for, which are instantly delivered to your mobile device for use. So, tell us a little bit about what a long time ago, we realized that building apps for what we think is going to be successful in the marketplace is worthless. On December 17th, the culmination of building apps for our users, keeping our users first in mind, making sure that what we're building is what they want, and listening attentively to our users and what they want, what their needs are. But when we started doing that as a company, we started achieving massive global success. When I say massive global success, our app can now be found in the top 20 in over 27 different countries globally. We have users that are not only users but evangelists that literally brag about our app to their friends, to everybody that will listen to it. If you go to YouTube, you'll see over 1,400 testimonial videos of users talking about our product, which is unheard of. It's amazing when you take a user and give them what they want and literally build something for them, not something that you think is something that they would like. So tell us about, you have great success now, so tell us about the future. I think the future has a lot to do with our company's core values. And our future success will be because of our company's core values, the way we've built our company today. As we look at the future, as we look at what looks like, what our, what our roadmap looks like over the next 30, 60, 90 days, our success will be because of who we are as individuals. Co great companies are made of great people that have great core values. In the next 30, 60 days, we just yesterday released the reward me an HTML5 app, which is located at r.juno.com, which allows users from cross platforms to earn Juno credits for doing tasks that they can do from an HTML5 app. In the next 30 days, we plan to expand into a partnership in the Microsoft mobile space where our Microsoft mobile users will have access to Juno Wallet, which will become a catalyst inside the Microsoft App Store, all for engaging and rewarding users who are exploring new apps and allowing developers to get users not just to experience the app, not just to install the app, but to engage inside the app, to literally be the mouse chasing the cheese, to literally find new levels of achievement, new badges, and get rewarded for in-app engagement, in-app rewards, in-app purchases. And as we develop that out over the next 30 days, those are some of the exciting things we have planned for the future. As far as product lines coming, in May we have a massive product release built around a mystery gift card, which takes all the psychology behind a lottery ticket and mixes it in with a mobile gift card where for a dollar as a user you can have a game-like experience at your favorite restaurant or retailer and literally know that I've spent a dollar for a gift card they know it's at least worth a dollar but maybe it's worth more or maybe it's got an instant prize attached to it and it's worth a dollar so from a retailer standpoint they're now taking their gift card and turning it into a game-like interactive experience that users of all ages can participate in because you and I both know, young users, 15, 16, 17 year olds, can afford maybe $25, $30 gift cards, but for Subway, they can afford five $1 gift cards. Or for Starbucks, they can afford five $1 gift cards. And by going to Starbucks and scratching off that gift card, they can now be part of an experience versus a transaction. For Juno Wallet and for our company, it's all about making the user experience amazing. It's all about delivering amazing experiences for the user through their mobile device and engaging the user into something that they want. I'm pretty excited. Are you guys excited? Yeah! Is everyone excited? No. So what would you say is the future of mobile communication in general? I think the mobile space is only going to grow. I think what we're starting to see in the last couple of years and what we're going to see over the next five to ten years is that mobile devices are no longer a device to talk to. Well, mobile devices are a communication device. It's almost like we're looking back 20, 30 years ago and watching Star Trek on television. That it's, an, it's, it's ultimately a tricorder. It's ultimately a device that allows you to communicate visually. It's ultimately a device that allows you to access real-time data. It ultimately will be a device that allows mobile communication 
to be mobile computing, and mobile data transfer, and mobile ownership of data. It's, all, it's, it's taking the mobile device and making it a mobile commerce tool. It literally takes the mobile device and the mobile experience and over the next five years. I think users are going to get more value out of their mobile phone than they are today. And delivering that value is, is all about putting the consumer first, all about putting the user first. And when, when mobile companies realize that, that the user is the most important person in the process and that their experience has to be amazing, not just, oh, wow, this is great as a game I won. It's got to be an amazing emotional experience. When you deliver that experience, when you make it emotional, when people can literally say, I love Juno Mobile. I love this app. I love everything about what just happened to me. When people fall in love with their mobile device, it really crosses the threshold of being just a mobile phone, and it becomes a mobile experience. I don't think so. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we're at that point where that small screen and that ability to type is there. I think, I think they both have their place in life, but I do believe that they will occupy more of our personal computer time than a personal computer one. I, I do believe that there's more, than, more things you can do on a full keyboard than you can on a mobile device. Now, in the future, what do I know? I'm wrong about one out of every three things, I think, anyhow. But in the future, maybe we'll have the ability, like in uh, some of the sci-fi movies, where you can open up a full keyboard and you have three-dimensional stuff and all the stuff that we see in these sci-fi movies maybe it becomes true. But today, right now, and for the next five years, I think mobile computing and mobile usage will replace a lot of the things we do from the communications standpoint on a PC or a laptop, but it won't replace it entirely. And it's just, it doesn't seem like a re realistic estimate. So you talked a lot about communicating to customers to their experience, and how important is that what do you feel is the role of the customer and the security survive in the community? Oh, absolutely. In fact, I think charities have the ability to benefit more now through mobile devices than at any time in the past. I think that getting users engaged and passionate about something and reaching that message to a mobile user is easier and faster and it allows you to reach more people now for charities than at any time in the world in history. If charities can put up a website, a web forum, a web donation on PC, and you're only re reasonably going to access people who are PC. But because the world is, there, there's literally more mobile phones in the world than there are PCs, if I'm a charity now, if my message needs to reach mobile users, it has to be a two two-way message where I'm asking them to engage in something, either some form of commerce or maybe uh, like my page or become a part of my cause. I can do that on such a larger scale, on such a faster scale, uh, to reach many more users with mobile. You know, if I'm a charity, I can now reach people globally with a, with a mobile device and a mobile message. Whereas even though you can do that on the web, you can just reach more people instantly.